Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. And today we are going to uh, review the Hori 2. And Hori 2 is Japanese tier 8 tank destroyer. It leads towards the tier 9 and tier 10. And overall, it is not a horrible tank. It is somewhere in between you being able to play aggressively and being able to play passively. Overall, the tank is rated 3 stars by me. It's rated 3 stars by the community. If you are curious how the tank armor is looking, Looking like you can always check out index page and overall a lower plate is very very weak but other than that you can attempt to play hold down with this tank and you can find plenty of the other functions in the index page which I recommend to check it out just google skill for L2 index or alternatively <coughs> check out the description down below right so the tank is average at everything you can potentially make pressure but it can go bad you can snipe but in the same time you may miss a shot or two and overall the tank is um I do not, it is a very, very weird way to describe the vehicle the tank is bunch of nothing does it make sense what I'm saying fellas does it make sense what I'm saying the tank is bunch of nothing you can snipe, you can make pressure, but you cannot do everything, uh, anything ideally, right? Uh, if you are a top tier, you are getting involved. If you are bottom tier, you are getting slapped. I mean, nothing too crazy, nothing unusual. And obviously, you can snipe from the back if it happened to be that you are a um, bottom tier mother tracker, right? So nothing too crazy, nothing unusual. Our ELC is going to die by going on top of the hill. Which is quite unfortunate thing, but I don't really think we can change absolutely anything about this. Okay, I'm going to join the almighty charioteer and we are hoping that our uh, folks are going to spot someone uh, trying to make pressure or getting involved like this. This is our hope, this is our dream and this is what we want to see. What is the closest tank to this vehicle? I would say the closest tank to this tank is Ferdinand. And I think this is kind of a bit better than the Defeda with a bit less alpha damage, if that makes sense. Maybe this would be a great description of the vehicle. Anyways, where the gun goes, 400 alpha damage, 250mm of penetration, which is nice. Although shell velocity is only 900 meters, so that's not ideal. If we are speaking about the gold, 285mm of penetration with a golden 1000 shell velocity, which is nice. Um, and looking into the high explosives, 80mm of the penetration with the high explosives so that means you can penetrate uh, um, many of the vehicles like let's say Rashems, Charioteer, Scorpions and everything that has uh, very little armor you can actually slap the living crap out of them. Now what do we want to do? We want to prepare to slap someone who is sitting in this typical position here. If we will have anyone who is sniping we should be uh, able to punish them and we should be able to slap the living crap out of them this is what we are looking for by the way looking about uh, looking to this game i mean it's fair to say that our team is losing the game we are losing heavy line completely which is pretty disgusting but unfortunately we cannot do absolutely anything about this and unfortunately our folks that are trying to make pressure this way they are not being aggressive enough either so we are not seeing absolutely anyone and plus on top of that if we would pay attention at the folks that have been spotted already we can see that this side is kind of clear apart to 100 or scorpion right but once again that's completely fine it is how it is and this is what we are having in this type of situation we are not going to give up and we are going to fight till the last moment of this game although we are the last moment of this game goes it is it is very 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 much complicated situation and it looks like we are not going to have the best uh, experience ever right but once again some games are like this and in some games you cannot do absolutely anything speaking about doing absolutely anything uh, the score is 1 to 8 and this is kind of a game over already speaking uh, about this battle are we going to give up absolutely not we will try to do our best and we will try to punish every and each gentleman that is playing here but once again this is very very complicated and this is very 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 hard situation for us right 
Plus on top of that, we definitely do not have a turret. We are very, very well aware of that. And that's completely fine. Now, can we punish our brother from other mother? Yes, we can. This is completely all right. We are sitting kind of all right, fellas. Meanwhile, brother from other mother goes through the open field. We are trying to hit the shot, unfortunately. We are missing it, and yeah, the game is uh, pretty uh, effed up, if you would ask me, right? We are not giving up. We are fighting till the last moment in this type of situation. Nothing too crazy, nothing unusual. We are just trying to get as many as many free shells as we physically and possibly can do over there, right? I think he is baboon and I think he is baboon and everyone, fellas, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, everyone is baboon in this game. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is baboon in this game. Absolutely ridiculous if you would ask me. <laughs> Don't never do that, fellas, what this 1 to 2 TM is doing. Never do that because you are kind of messing up the um, other player's experience in this type of situation. This is absolutely ridiculous. And fellas, for real, I'm not joking. I am not joking, do not, do not uh, play the game this way and do not F up your uh, uh, teammates to the level that this gentleman did, right? Um, I know this is a meme for, for this gentleman, right? I understand that was a joke and whatnot, but uh, please do not do that type of stuff do not mess up your allies you do not need to um you definitely do not need to shoot me if you don't want to right you can dance you can do whatever you want i am not uh, um i am not saying anything against that but we are there uh, respect for your team goes so you need to be respectful hopefully that makes sense meanwhile 2.7 thousand damage seven, uh, 900 assisting damage that's completely fine we cannot complain about this. We finished Toba experience and Toba the damage. And this finishes only because of this 1 to 2 TM who was trying to give us hold down. Please do not do that, fellas. Um, and we got 17,000 profits as well. But once again, uh, this game was pretty much sold or bought by the enemy who helped us. Do not do that. I repeat, don't do that. Now, around number... Two, Ghost Town Assault, Tier 10 Matchmaking. Okay, that looks pretty complicated and that looks pretty hard, but we are going to be okay. So what do we want to do for a full happiness, fellas? In this situation, we want to, mm, we want to choose one or another side from where we can snipe, right? And what I am considering, I am considering of, um, of simply taking this position here. And simply slap every and each gentleman who is trying to make a bit of pressure like this. Plus, on top of that, we definitely could get some assisting damage as well. Which I would very much appreciate, fellas. I would appreciate that a ton. So, let's try to do that. Let's try to do that. Okay, we are playing with 140. 140 should have a very, very... Uh, very nice view range and probably better view range than I do, but I think we should be all right and we should be able to get some assisting slash damage, right? Um, this play in this uh, in this position is very very easy, uh, and what do I mean by saying this? All I need to do I need to take this hill just like so, and we can actually spot enemies trying to make a hardcore pressure like this, just like so. You see? I am feeling pretty okay. Now, we know that ELC even should be sitting here around the corner. Or maybe even in this typical bush over there. At least this is what I would believe and this is what I would guess. Beautiful blind shot. ELC is definitely sitting here. And now he should shit his pants already. Yeah, he definitely relocated, that's okay, that's understandable. The most important thing is that we figure it out exactly where this gentleman is sitting at. Now, one more thing to say, I chose the wrong line. Skill, how you can choose the wrong line in the start of the game? Fellas, it is very, very, very simple answer to this question. Since, since most of the enemies are sitting over there, it is quite clear 
It is quite clear that uh, uh, we do not really have that many forces sitting uh, in this area, right? We just, uh, we just simply know that. Oh, that was a bad shot. Oh, that was a bad shot, fellas. Okay, very interesting. Does it change anything for us? To be completely honest with you, not really. Is it a budget or is it an ELC even? I do not really think uh, that it is a humongous difference, to be completely honest with you. What we can do here, if this was a 55 put figure out making pressure this way, we could definitely slap him. And we want to be annoying for enemies, right? That's what we want to do. Okay, Bacchet is trying to escape. And if he is trying to escape, we are going to slap the living crap out of this gentleman, right? This is what we want to see. Beautiful Bacchet won't escape. So easily. Good, 140 has the position. We pay the humongous tax by playing here, obviously. Um, but that is okay, and we are going to be fine. Now, the question is, can we go towards this was a 55? In this situation, fellas, I think I'm going to lo load the gold ammunition for obvious reasons, and we want to get a bit more involved, right? We know where most of the enemies are sitting yet. We are very, very well aware of this, and we should be okay. Let's go. Look at this position, fellas. Six guns or so sitting over there. Absolutely nuts and absolutely madness. Absolutely insanity. Uh, where is this ELC? ELC is definitely spotting us, okay? We need to be very, very well aware of that. This mother trucker is definitely spotting us. Okay. Beautiful. We are trying to track him in the same time. Unfortunately, I failed by tracking, but it doesn't really change absolutely anything because we are making as much pressure as we physically and possibly can. Beautiful track from our side. That is okay. Lorraine is slapping the living crap out of him and we should be able to eliminate him before he will. That's okay. Beautiful, beautiful teamwork um, with the Lorraine. That was absolutely amazing. Very, very, very nice. Now, the question is, what are we supposed to do here? What are we supposed to do here, fellas? There is a big chance that enemies will try to make a bit of pressure. But the question is, can we do something for them and can we punish them? Beautiful tracking shot. That's okay. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. ELC is still sitting somewhere in the back over there. Okay, beautiful. Now we know. And ELC is going straight to the garage. Hopefully, no! We hit him with a blind shot. I, I had a suspicion that ELC is sitting here, fellas. I definitely had a suspicion, but uh, I haven't blind shot at him, so there is nothing to say. Way more difficult game, way harder game, and I think we finished close to 2,000 damage, but this is a tier 10, and I selected simply a wrong side we are to play. It happens. This is the um, this is how the things are looking like whenever you are bottom tier, right? It's okay. I needed to be more passive. Okay, fellas. 1.9 thousand damage, two kills. That was very, very, very difficult game. It was truly hard, but that's completely fine. It is okay. So far, we are struggling with this tank a bit, but I know that the tank is far away from being ideal, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and we are completely fine. Um, I know com uh, this tank compared to the tier 10 and tier 9, it's like a, can I say it's bunch of nothing? It's like, eh, Sometimes it is it is going well, sometimes not so much. You can be uh, aggressive, you can't be aggressive. You, you get the point what I'm saying. It's just simply a very, very, very weird vehicle to play and I'm completely fine with this. And I am completely fine with this. Also, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we are getting very, very close to 200,000 subscribers. So if it happened to be that you are not uh, uh, subscribed to the channel, right? feel free to do so. It costs absolutely nothing. And in the same time, um, we appreciate your support a ton. So thank you very much for that. Meanwhile, I want to believe that ELC will go in the standard bush here, right? Since I believe he is going to go into the standard bush here, can we? I'm going for it. 
Ох. 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 Окей, we know we are suiciting yet. That's completely fine. We cannot complain about this. We are very, very, very well aware where this gentleman is at, right? And skill, I have a question. Where is the Sue? No, don't run. Don't run. No. Okay, yeah. I knew that he's sitting in this bush. I paid attention. Uh, into all of this, but that's okay. Beautiful shot to the Scorpion. Too bad we did not penetrate at him, which is a bit uh, of the sadness, but once again, there is nothing to cry about, and we are going to be okay. There is a big chance that this Mr. Sue will come back. Uh, boom! 500 in the face. Very, very nice, and we are having definitely a blast here. We are enjoying ourselves, fellas. We are enjoying ourselves indeed. Now, I would love to slap this light tank sitting in this typical bush, but as you can see, I wonder where is the ELC even? What is the chance ELC is sitting here in front? Am I getting spotted? I am not getting spotted, so ELC is sitting somewhere elsewhere apparently. Not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, this is how our early start of the game is looking like. What we need to prepare for, uh, calculate the guns and count the guns, fellas. Enemies has five guns over there, we have three guns over there. Plus on top of that, they have higher tiers overall. So that should mean that we are losing this position. It is not a bad thing, it's not a horrible thing, we will try to farm as much as we physically and possibly can, but our farming process is going to look like a bit differently. We are going to take this bush, and we are not going to go aggressive to the level that egg tuna, but we will try to punish them whenever they are overpeaking or whenever they are doing something silly, right? This is exactly what we need to do in this type of situation. This Panzer won't survive this, I really doubt he would, and that's okay. All we need to do, we need to make sure that we are penetrating this Vaka peaking sideways here, right? That would be very much appreciated and that would be absolutely amazing. Uh, whenever we are fighting against the caliber tanks like Wakam, I am not even considering about uh, shooting the standard of ammunition. It's not in my considerations. I do not want to do that. I'm not even thinking about it. Plus on top of that, we are far away from winning this side uh, either, right? So that's important thing to highlight. It's okay. We got this. We are okay. We cannot complain about that. We are fine. Let's try to punish this Vaka. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful penetration. We are feeling all right. What will happen next? This Centurion action shit should go uh, through the open field and we are uh, instant. We need to think how we would uh, dodge him and how we would relocate already. So we are going like this because we know that we may get spotted and this would not be so great. Right? So we are relocating. We are okay. We are Gucci. Now. How about if we would craft a bit of the angle over there? What is the chance that Mr. Vaka would make pressure and Mr. Vaka is definitely making pressure? That's okay. We are sitting in the bush. We are feeling fine. We are losing the game by 5,000 hit points, which is definitely far away from being ideal. But unfortunately, we cannot do absolutely anything in this type of situation. Do I want to escape completely? Not yet. I still want to believe that there is a phase one and there is Panzer 7 there could simply get involved into all of this, right? Will they? Eh, no. I'm relocating. This is the moment for us to um, change to change our mind and to simply relocate completely. Uh, what is the best play for us in this particular situation? I would say the best play for us would be to take this position over there. That would be absolutely amazing, but in the same time I have a feeling that it is a bit too late. Yes, it's too late. I do not want to go through the middle of the field this way. I think it is just simply no bueno anymore. That being said, we are okay, we are fine, we are going to take the red line right here, and we will pre-aim for this phase one going through the middle of the field. We will allow this Bacha to escape because we see what this Bacha is doing. We are paying attention into the map, right? 
we are paying attention to the map. We want to support the guy for obvious reasons and we want to provide him with escape road, right? That's what we are doing. That's okay. We got this. We are fine. We are Gucci. We are okay. This guy should be dead. Okay, I'm trying to escape. Ay, 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 ay. I do not want to I do not want to block him. Sorry. I do not have a turret and I just simply cannot cannot fix it um, that easily, right? Whenever you do not have a turret, you don't have a turret. What can you do? Nice. Can we punish him into the side like so? Yes, we can. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We are doing a great job, fellas. We are doing absolutely phenomenal job here. And we are making this mother trucking tank work. Very good shot into the Centurion action. Shit, that's good, 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 good. And uh, we need more of this, fellas. We definitely need more of this. Now... I would love to spot this Panzer 7 as well, but once again, it's not going to be as simple and it is not going to be as easy, right? What I could do, I could be aggressive this way, I could eliminate Centurion and I could escape here. Now the question is, would we get enough use of all of this and would it be a good decision or, we, or it would be disaster, right? This is the other question. We are okay, fellas. We are okay. We are feeling fine. We are just simply waiting until enemies will make something stupid. That's all we need for a full happiness. That's all we need for a full happiness, fellas. Come on, Centurion, make a mistake. Nice. Beautiful shot. Very, very nice. Very, very, very nice. Very beautiful. We still can win this game, fellas. We still can win this game and we still can be victorious in the end of the day, right? It's not going to be simple. It's not going to be easy. But I have a feeling that we have a chance to do so. What do we want to do at this point? At this point, we want to spot this mother trucker sitting here, right? That would be very much appreciated. Meanwhile, I assume making pressure through the open field. Unfortunately, he is safe. Not much what I can change about this. And we have a Panzer making a hardcore pressure here. Um, I do not really think that we could escape this way. And in the same time, I assume May hit us in the side while we are trying to escape. Luckily, he, didn't, he haven't done that, so that's okay. But on the downside, I am down to one shotable for this Panzer. This is a bad thing. Now the question is, will this Mr. Panzer try to go up like this or like this? Okay, we know exactly what the Panzer is doing. But what we can do from this, this is the other question, right? This is the other question what we can do from this. What a hardcore game, fellas. What a hardcore game. That's fine. We know what's coming. We know that Panzer is going to go for us. We are very, very well aware of that. We are very, 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 very well aware of that, fellas. No. What a pussy panzer. Oh, what a pussy panzer, fellas. Eee. That's okay. Listen, that was a good game. We played to the best of our ability, and even by being bottom tier, we did the things properly. Um, mostly we sniped from this game, right? And... I do not complain a single bit about this. Everything was completely all right and everything was completely fine. I would play this game if I would be matched in the same situation, in the same uh, in the same way, I would do the same thing. So I'm feeling happy. 3.7 thousand damage, 100 assisting damage. Uh, we got sniper schnitzel. We are first by experience. We are first by the damage and we got minus 8,000 credits. But that's to be expected because I was shooting quite a bit of the gold ammunition. Now, the session was three defeats in a row, 
you can't win. Sometimes you can't win. If the game isn't allowing you, you are not winning, right? Um, 2.8 thousand damage and 300 assisting damage. What is important thing to say, fellas? Important thing to say is that the score would be even lower if not in the first game. Uh, if in the first game we would not have the... Uh, Gentlemen who try to protect us from the enemy team, right? The situation would have been even, even worse. Anyways, it is how it is. In my humble opinion, this tank isn't horrible, but this tank is not the best tank in the world of tanks. And I think we highlighted everything what we, what we should and what we could. So, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you and see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.